Good afternoon, grade 10. Hope you had a great weekend, a good long weekend, and you were able to spend time with family uh, while ma maintaining distance and safe distance and so on and so forth. Um, please continue to take care of yourselves during this time as uh, even though things are re reopening, uh, we still have to maintain that distance and uh, take care of ourselves and others around you. Which fits in well with this novel. Uh, this novel is all about uh, the decision making and how it impacts not just yourself but everybody around you. And uh, so, those of you that may be struggling with Ender's Game right now, that is the uh, probably the main, pri the primary focus of this novel, um, because we every decision that Ender makes. At first, it's for him, but then he starts to realize, since with the help of Petra, um, we uh, he he realizes that uh, he doesn't have to focus on the enemies all the time. He can fo focus on creating allies, and they become more powerful uh, uh, than fighting your enemies all the time. So the more allies you have, the, the better chance of defeating those enemies. And those enemies don't necessarily have to be people per se, but it could be uh, the system itself, the governing system. And we already know how challenging uh, things are, um, actually restricting, we'll say, uh, things are. Um, in, in this world because uh, if, if if we don't get anything else out of uh, Locke and Demonstices uh, where uh, Peter and Valentine are challenging the system, uh, we find out that the international fleet have been, have, they've, they've been playing the, the Wigan family right from the starts and uh, so while Ender's challenging the system up in battle school uh, Peter and Valentine were going to challenge the system on on, on the planet Earth, and uh, more so Valentine because she's seeing how manipulative uh, the inter inter international fleet uh, and more two-faced, I guess, uh, they are because uh, the the fact that they've been isolating Ender from the from the family and. Um, it's got to the point where even the parents have forgotten about Ender or they don't talk about it for fear of uh, um, reprisal um, because we're talking about giving up freedom for security. So um, Valentine's gonna challenge that system. And, uh, but the only way they can do that is through the uh, internet. And uh, so they create, it, create those pseudonyms, those al 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 aliases, sorry. And uh, so then they are able to uh, sp speak their mind, um, cover both sides of the, of the coin, because it's important that you do so. Uh, you do that in your writing, you always cover two sides, uh, three if you can, uh, pro con pro, which would be a, a good approach to uh, the average paper. And uh, or even uh, some of your assignments or projects that you're going to be doing for this for this uh, novel, um, look at the themes. Uh, what's your understanding? What's your take of it? Find the validation in the novel and show that you comprehend it. You understand it. You're able to connect it uh, with what what's going on in the world. Uh, those kind of things, and you can re and that can be reflected in your project uh, or your write-ups if you're doing visual written and written and so on and so forth. So. Uh, just to review the themes here. Um, so first of all, the uh, deadline for uh, concludes in about 12 days. You have a choice. You can do a major project or you can do a visual written and written project. And very similar to um, the previous novel, of course, uh, uh, study in, in deadline three and uh, your choices that you did for Miracle Worker. Um, the tour guide isn't just another option for a project. I don't give lists for project ideas because uh, most students unfortunately would just choose the easy ones and I don't get a, a, a really good picture of where you stand uh, in, in regards to comprehension. 
And uh, so if you choose your own project and, and come up with something that shows you get this novel, you understand the themes and so on and so forth, then those projects are a lot, lot better and they're a lot more uh, uh, engaging than uh, just, you know, uh, in providing a list of, of, of activities, that kind of thing. So you have the themes. We've, we're at theme number five right now. And we have the implication of uh, genetic engineering. Um, so um, Peter and Valentine uh, becoming Locke and Demonstices. Uh, it's part of that genetic engineering. They're able to articulate themselves um, as more adult uh, in their language uh, than uh, the average child. And uh, so then they, they start to challenge the system uh, using the using the internet uh, discussion valentine realizes that she's being manipulated uh especially uh and she also finds out that uh, ender's being manipulated um because he's been isolated by the international fleet for the sole purpose of uh winning this war um now technically there is no war uh yes the buggers came to earth and and there was it was catastrophic, and whatever the case, and then they left. They were defeated by Maisie Rackham. We get the whole, we get that story quite often. They haven't been around for decades, so there's no war. Now, but the fear factor is that they're thinking. There's the belief that they're probably they've gone back to their home planet to get their um, resources up to up to snuff. And we're going to go. We're going to take it to them first before they can even uh, try for a, a, another attack, that kind of thing. And we're going to wipe them out. Okay. So win all the battles. And that's uh, Ender's approach, and that seems to be the international fleet's approach as well. Um, so science fiction is a commentary on society. So what's happening in the world now? What's happened in history? is being reflected in this novel and so if you are up to date on current events uh, or even historical events th then you'll understand uh, the events of uh, or what's transpiring in or taking place in this novel the effects of video games on children you you've already seen uh, that they're being trained through video games and uh, in a previous video I did talk about uh, that uh, we've had military um, uh, or militaries around the world using video games to train their soldiers. Um, and uh, of course, the younger, the more younger you are, the more adaptive you are uh, compared to those who are older. And that's why children are being used at this time. Waging a war without a conscience, that's uh, right at the beginning again of the novel. Uh, they're, they're fighting this war, they don't, there's no care on what, what kind of collateral damage will be caused. Uh, there's no real consideration on how it's going to affect these kids because Anderson even says to Graf that these, he, he doesn't view these kids as kids. He views these kids as tools and he's going to use these tools and uh, uh, to his, his advantage and to, to victory. Okay. Uh, where Anderson's trying to find a balance between the tool and the child, okay? And uh, differentiate between the two. Uh, the perfect, prophetic nature of science fiction, so that's the whole novel itself, how science fiction is used to uh, be a prophecy, a look-see, look take a snapshot of, of what could happen if you went down this path um, in the hopes of um, choosing a better path. Um, so uh, that's the prophetic nature that's used. And uh, of course, uh, it, it doesn't matter what time period uh, the novel takes place or even if we use movies or whatever, it's the, uh, the message that's being presented to the viewer. And uh, so if the writer of that and creator of that video or novel or whatever the case, um, whichever media you're using, um, they're using that platform to get a message out. So 
Um, yes, it, uh, it may entertain and, and engage people in one way, but on the other side of the coin, it, the hope is that they're going to think about it and say, yes, I, I've seen it happening in our world uh, today, or I have seen that happen, and that's uh, and the, the consequence of, of those actions was I uh, were this and uh, and so on and so forth. This is what happened to these leaders. They ro they rose to power and then they fell and and uh, history repeats itself and things like that. What can we do to prevent uh, history from repeating itself so that we can choose a better path for all humanity? Okay, so that's where we're at right now. Chapter or theme number six: using children as tools of war. That's already being implemented in this novel um, and there'll be more so towards the end of the novel because the tools are going to be uh, formally used um, by Graf and the international fleet and the other governing bodies on this planet. Okay, uh, theme seven of course are chapter summaries and questions. You already have chapter summaries for uh, one, to or one to nine, sorry, and um, the assignments you do for each chapter, well, not the red ones, so no, okay? So this is no, okay? And but no, I gotta clear that now. Assignment two, yes, okay. So, where's my pen? Draw, yes. Okay, so, yes, 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 okay. And, oops, <laughs> get off that. Okay, go back to mouse. And theme two is for your reading. We've gone over the just four theory. Um, you can incorporate that into a project. Uh, assignment three again, no. Okay, so no, 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 no. Okay. And the effects of video games, we talked about that. Um, again, you gotta do this uh, on your own too, because uh, uh, you need to think this out. A lot of uh, what you're experiencing, especially through this pandemic, is quite relevant to what, what this novel is portraying as well, uh, just in a different format. Um, so this one, yes, okay. Do we often mimic or copy what we see and hear in real life? That's just a very straightforward question. Just respond to it accor accordingly. It doesn't matter which chapter, um, as long as you uh, have submitted that. And assignment five, uh, obviously no, because it's red. Okay, so there's that. And theme five, we talked about that's the chapter nine. Um, assignment six we can't do because uh, there's we're not watching the video so no 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 okay go back to the mouse and ch children's ch uh, tools of war we have that uh, coming up but because tools will um, be fully implemented in the final chapters of this novel okay and of course, after each chapter, there are some questions. Okay, so those need to be done as well. And uh, so in order to get your full marks, so yes to all questions after the chapters. Okay, so uh, that's where we're at right now for themes one to five. And chapter six is the final chapters uh, from uh, chapter 10 to, uh, what is it, 15? Okay, so uh, we're, the tools are, to f are going to be fully implemented right away. So that's where I'm going to leave you right now for this. And we'll stay tuned for chapter 10 coming up shortly. Take care, be safe.